All right, so this is a video on camber settings, and I had a viewer ask me to do this video, so I said, sure, this could be kind of fun. Um, and this is the Bristol setup that I literally just shot a video for it, and you're going to notice that uh, the camber settings here are at three on the left front, negative three and a half on the right front. And if you don't understand what camber is, the easiest way to explain it is camber is the degree of tilt of the tires. In other words, whether the tires are leaning to the left or the right or straight up and down. So if you had a car where the camber was zero degrees on it, what that would mean is if the car was setting on perfectly flat ground um, and the camber was set at zero, uh, if you took it, it would be a perfectly right angle from the from where the tires are to the ground because the tires would be straight up and down, the ground would be perfectly flat, and it would be a perfect 90 degree right angle. Now, since you are basically turning left at all the ovals in NASCAR, you want to have the tires leaned left, okay, because that helps you turn left. So, to lean the tires left, is, that's what's called camber. So you lean them left so the left front would have positive camber, the right front would have negative camber. And I guess that would be measuring the camber, if I'm thinking about this correctly, that would be measuring the camber as if you are standing in front of the car looking at looking at it from the nose of the car back and that would be positive camber on the left and negative camber on the right and you're leaning the car or leaning the tires left because that's how you want the car to turn now the more camber you put into a car and I say more I'm meaning higher numbers so higher positive on the left higher negative on the right the more of that you put in Okay, so if I crank the camber from 3 and negative 3 to 5 and negative 5, the car is going to want to turn left better, but it's also going to wear the tires more. Okay, so let's run about 10 laps with the standard camber settings, and then let's see what the tires look like, and then we'll come back and uh, crank the camber up on these and try to make 10 laps. Okay, get back in there. Let's go. Okay, so um, let me see what laps. So I'm going to be hitting lap 66 here, and I've got this set on four times wear. So when that uh, uh, lap info up there hits 76, I'm done. I've got it on four times wear because I want there to be some wear. I want to see what the wear is. I don't want to sit here and make 10 laps and have the tires still be at like 98% or something. Um, and the tires don't wear a lot in the first few laps at Bristol, so I think I probably need to make like 10 laps. So we are on lap 70. So let's take a look at these tires and look at the temperatures. So I am 257 as the uh, now it gets up to 270 in the turns. I'm looking at the right front tire and looking at the left temperature, which is going to be the hottest because that's the part that's making the most contact because we are tilted to the left on the inside. I am hitting 270 there, it looks like, in the corners. It's getting back down to about 260. I'm not hitting great lap times because I'm paying attention to the temperatures more than the line. Okay. So now I'm on lap 73. So I, when it hits 76, I am done. I'm really not hitting my marks here because I'm talking and... Okay, so 74. Okay, 
Okay, so now I am on lap 75. So this is my last one. So let's see what my tire temperatures are and what my wear is like. Okay, so I am still getting, I think, close to 270 in the corners, and I am at 88% on both the front tires. Okay, so let's go and crank the camera up and then see how the car drives and um, what, uh, what the tire wear is like. And we can look at this, and it looks like I hit 15.4 a few times, which isn't bad considering how much talking I was doing. So now, what we should have happen is the car should turn much better, but the tires should get much hotter and wear much quicker. So I'm going to take this all the way up. I hope I can make 10 laps. I may spin the car out uh, long before 10 laps because it may just be that loose because this is really going to make the car want to turn left. Okay, so we'll save the setup. Let's go and see what we get here. Clear out, hammer down. So I am looking at. 77 will be my first lap, so when it hits 87, I am done. Whoa! This is going to be a handful. I hope I can make it 10 laps. If you're really sophisticated, I guess what you can do is you can set up your qualifying setup and race setup. One of the things you can change is the camber settings um, to make the car turn better because if you're qualifying you're really not that concerned about long runs and tire wear and things like that. And the car really wants to just jump left on me. Let's see what lap I'm on. Let's see what we're like here when we get to middle of the run here. And now I'm already hitting, I'm looking at the right front tire and look at that inside temperature. It is hitting 292, I think, 293 in the corner. Now the left front is only hitting about two, just 279. So you can see that it is running much hotter and that is causing me to have much more wear. Yeah, wow, I'm down to 64 and 62% already. And this thing is just sliding now. I've lost the front of the car. I mean, there is just no grip there in the front of the car. Wow. <laughs> we don't have 87 yet, because this thing is a handful. And even though it's burning the tires up, notice I really didn't crank out incredibly fast laps. Okay, so really I think camber is more about managing your tires than getting great lap times. But I do think you can get a little bit better lap times if you want to do like qualifying setups uh, and make the uh, camber a little bit more aggressive. So there is lap 87, and I am at 46 and 40. Wow. Instead of being in the high 80s, I am at 46% and 40. So, man, that is a huge difference. And let me tell you, this thing was a handful to drive. And, yeah, I think 15.5 was my best lap there, and it didn't take very, very long to burn off the tires to where I had no grip. So... All right, fix this back. <laughs> I do not want to race this thing like this. 
So that was interesting. I hope that was informative about how camber works and um, and what it does. And it is more about managing your tire wear than it is about actually turning fast laps. But I do think it at more like mile and a half tracks, you can get a little more aggressive on a qualifying setup in camber and probably pick up a little bit of time. But um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you guys for the support. I do want to mention before I go that I do have a website now. It is called Setup dashman.com uh, I put it as the uh, top of this video here so you should be able to see it I've got everything in one spot all my uh, setups all the tutorials on uh, how to adjust the car and what each set of um, settings here on the the pit screen work and what they do and how they impact the car they're separate tabs for cup Xfinity truck all my videos are in one spot so please check it out setup dashman.com and with that I will end this video and thank you guys for the support and hope this helped you understand camber and have a great day